Kamala Harris, a critical examination of her political journey. Kamala Devi Harris, born on October 20, 1964, in Oakland, California, has emerged as a significant figure in American politics. However, a critical examination of her career reveals a complex tapestry of opportunism, controversial decisions, and a somewhat inconsistent ideological stance. While she has claimed to champion progressive causes, her political record and actions suggest a less than flattering portrait of her ability and character, particularly as she serves as the Vice President of the United States and positions herself for a potential presidential run. Early life and education. Harris was born to immigrant parents. Her mother, Shaimala Gopalan, was a cancer researcher from India, and her father, Donald Harris, a Jamaican economist. Growing up in a multicultural household, she was exposed to diverse perspectives, which undoubtedly shaped her views. She attended Howard University, a historically black college in Washington, D.C., where she earned a degree in political science and economics. Later, she graduated from the University of California, Hastings College of the Law. Despite the advantages of a prestigious education and a supportive family background, Harris's early political consciousness seems to have been more influenced by her race and gender than by a coherent ideological framework. This pattern would persist throughout her career, leading to accusations of opportunism and a tendency to mold her public persona to fit the current political climate. Career Beginnings, Ambitious and Controversial Harris began her career as a deputy district attorney in Alameda County, California, earning a reputation for aggressive prosecution. Her record as a prosecutor, while noteworthy for some achievements, raises significant ethical questions about her approach to criminal justice. Critics argue that she was overly punitive, often pursuing harsh penalties for nonviolent offenders and promoting policies that disproportionately affected marginalized communities. Following her stint in Alameda County, Harris ascended to the role of San Francisco District Attorney in 2004, becoming the first woman and the first African American to hold the position. While she positioned herself as a reformer, her record in office was mixed. Under her leadership, the office faced criticism for failing to address issues of police misconduct and for continuing to pursue a tough-on-crime agenda that some believe perpetuated systemic injustices. Critics pointed out that her administration was more concerned with winning convictions than with fostering justice. In 2010, she was elected California Attorney General, a role that would further complicate her political persona. During her tenure, she positioned herself as a supporter of progressive causes. However, her actions belied the rhetoric. For instance, she resisted calls to investigate mortgage fraud during the financial crisis, and her office was accused of settling cases in a way that seemed more focused on political expediency than true justice. Harris's political ambition was evident throughout her tenure as attorney general. Her efforts often had the dual goal of leaving a positive legacy while simultaneously positioning herself for higher office, a sentiment that would follow her into the U.S. Senate. U.S. Senate, ambition over consistency. Elected to the U.S. Senate in 2016, Harris quickly cultivated a profile as one of the more visible and vocal Democrats. She gained national attention for her aggressive questioning of Trump administration officials during hearings. However, her performances were often seen as grandstanding rather than a genuine quest for accountability. Critics argue that her questioning tended to focus more on generating headlines and less on substantive policy discussions. Throughout her Senate career, Harris's positions seemed to oscillate between progressive and centrist, depending on the political winds. Her support for Medicare for All, for instance, was met with skepticism given her previous support for private insurance. Critics highlighted this inconsistency as a hallmark of her political strategy, aligning with populist sentiments when convenient and retreating into the establishment when necessary. Furthermore, her campaign for the 2020 presidential election revealed significant shortcomings. Initially viewed as a strong contender, her campaign quickly faltered in the face of heightened scrutiny over her record and her perceived lack of authenticity. Many voters were turned off by her tendency to pivot away from difficult questions, especially regarding her record on criminal justice, 
a legacy that many in the Democratic base found problematic. Vice Presidency, a controversial figure. In 2020, Harris was selected as Joe Biden's running mate, becoming the first woman of South Asian and African-American descent to hold the office. While this was heralded as a historic achievement, her vice presidency has also been marked by challenges that raise questions about her competence and effectiveness. As vice president, Harris was assigned critical issues, including immigration and voting rights. Her handling of these issues, however, has drawn significant criticism. The chaotic situation at the southern border during her tenure as the administration's point person for immigration issues further complicated her position. Rather than being the unifying force that Biden had hoped for, Harris's public gaffes and strident rhetoric alienated moderate voters and drew the ire of more conservative factions. Furthermore, her Senate background has not translated into effective policymaking. Instead of championing bipartisan solutions, Harris's approach appears to have been more divisive, failing to bridge the gap between the polarized factions in Congress. Some Democratic allies have expressed concern that Harris's inability to work collaboratively might hinder the administration's ability to achieve its legislative goals. The question of authenticity. At the core of the critiques surrounding Kamala Harris is the question of authenticity. Many observers have pointed out that her political career seems to be guided more by ambition than by a consistent set of principles. This has fostered a perception of her as a politician willing to modify her beliefs for the sake of political expediency. Harris's public persona has often been characterized as disingenuous. Critics argue that her attempts to connect with voters through stories of her upbringing or her commitments to social justice often lack depth, with her narratives appearing rehearsed rather than heartfelt. This perception of inauthenticity has created skepticism among some segments of the Democratic base, particularly younger voters who prioritize genuine leadership. Additionally, her campaign strategies have been scrutinized for their effectiveness, or lack thereof, as Harris sought to balance the identity politics that marked her rise with the more pragmatic needs of her constituents. Her inability to navigate this complex landscape has raised questions about her future prospects, especially if she seeks to position herself for a presidential run in 2024. Conclusion. A mixed legacy. Kamala Harris's political journey has been both remarkable and controversial. Her ascent to the second highest office in the land symbolizes a significant shift in American politics regarding representation and diversity. However, a closer examination of her record raises serious questions about her effectiveness and integrity. From her prosecutorial tenure to her mixed Senate record and her vice presidency, Harris's actions often seem to reveal a pattern of opportunism and ideological inconsistency. While she has successfully marketed herself as a champion of the marginalized, her record suggests a complex relationship with the very principles she claims to uphold. As she navigates her role in the Biden administration and contemplates her political future, the legacy of Kamala Harris will likely be defined by this duality. Her historic achievements shadowed by significant questions about her ability to lead with conviction and authenticity. Ultimately, whether Harris is willing or able to transcend this perception will determine her viability as a leader both now and in future political endeavors.